Hey guys, I'm David. And I'm Aaron. And we are Adventures of David and Aaron. Hey guys, today's Monday, the 27th of August, 2018. It's about a little after 6 o'clock in the morning, and we've just now arrived to Grand Turks, Turks and Caicos. And check out this for you guys. So Aaron does not have any excursions planned for today. He's just going to kind of roam. I myself am going on a certified scuba adventure here in the Turks and Caicos. So I'm super excited about that. I'll be switching over to the GoPro, seeing what type of underwater footage I can get to show you guys. And to give you a little information once I learn more about the dive center that's handling our dives here in Grand Turks. I believe the name of the dive center is called Oasis Divers. Uh, they had really good reviews. I did book this shore excursion through the ship, so I'll get you more information as I learn throughout the day. So we ran up top deck real quick. We have a visitor in port with us today. Uh, this is a ship that we have not been on. The Heron has been wanting to see, and we we'll get the opportunity to see it up close and personal. Check this out, guys. It's the Carnival Vista. Amazing ship. Other than the Horizon, this is uh, one of the newer ships for Carnival Cruise Lines. In the back there is the Sky Ride. breakfast we're doing some eggs looks like Aaron I got some cottage cheese some French toast some potatoes I'm doing uh, eggs bacon a banana and guys for my last vlog you know I can only find it on carnival my banana yogurt and I'm doing a banana since I'm scuba diving today I want to get some extra potassium in my body and I'll push a couple more bottles of water for our board the uh, our excursion to go scuba diving. So there you go, that's what we're doing for breakfast this morning. Yeah, they meet out front. There are all kinds of things in here.
All kinds of liquor. It is warm, but I don't want to be cold. So just completed my first Caribbean Daoshin dive. It was amazing. If you have not ever been diving, I highly recommend learn to, learn to scuba dive or at least learn to snorkel. It was amazing. Now, I need to go find Aaron somewhere here in Grand Turk. And guys, it is warm today. What's up, man? Kind of nice. We look at that line going back on the boat. Yeah, guys, uh, that was truly, truly an experience that uh, you have to see for your own self and your own eyes. Okay, guys, so I found Aaron while I was out diving. He chilled out at Margaritaville. He walked down to Jack Shack, and he got to meet Topher, uh, Grand Turk's famous dog. And then uh, our scuba shop is actually the scuba shop or the dive shop is there at... 
Jack Shacks, Oasis Dives, Oasis Divers. Now we're gonna go get our passports stamped here at the Grand Turk Post Office for a fee of two dollars each. Yay, it's officially stamped. Oh, I can do that. All right, guys, it is officially stamped. Grand Turk. They stamp it, you date it yourself, so there you go. Lesson learned and a new tip when you go to Grand Turk if you want your port if you want your passport stamped, two dollars at the Grand Turk post office. And let me show you what it looks like. Here Aaron, show them what it looks like. There you go, post office. Passport stamp? Yeah. Over the inside. And we're doing it. Have fun. And there you have the police station. Don't be getting in no trouble. There you go. to show you guys the flow rider give you a little bit closer view oh good shot of carnival conquest wow. 25 an hour and that clock on his neck is a 20 dollars souvenir if they want to buy it for a drink all right so Aaron informed me that the flow rider is $29 an hour, guys. I like the little floating umbrellas, that's really cool. So you'll know if you ever visit Grand Turk, uh, right along here you will see these cabanas. All of these are rentals. They go all the way around. They're air conditioned. They come with a lock and a key. We had looked at them but knowing that I was scuba diving today so there was no use for the cabana. The diving took up the majority of my day. But if you ever come here in Margaritaville and you just want to chill out the whole day, there's a great option for you. They are air conditioned. Great view of the ships and Margaritaville. And then you have the front area of the beach. Over in this corner there is the Flow Rider.
Oh, there's a lot like the hammock. That's what I'm talking about. Just looking at different shirts and the prices. $22.95 for a ball cap. Still growing that up. Okay, so if you forget your sunblock, guys, and you need some sunblock, you're looking at $25 for this. So, buy it at Walgreens before you board the ship. $25 for suntan lotion. $25 for suntan lotion. I burn. <laughs> I like the chairs. All right, guys, we're going to head back to the ship because I have a feeling we are going to have a line. And I'm getting ready to show you this long line. Like I said, Get on the ship early because um, you'll be waiting. Keep in mind, guys, we have two ships in port today the Carnival Conquest and the Carnival Vista. So I want you to look at this line. Look at that line. And it goes on and on and on. So if you get on late, have patience. I will say they do have a very nice port shop. guys be back on your ship early and it is hot out here but it's nice it's not too bad and there's a nice breeze we will be on the carnival vista just don't know when My diving experience today was phenomenal. Um, I would definitely do it again if I come back to Grand Turk. My dive instructor was Roger with Oasis Divers here on Grand Turk. Uh, the, their dive shop and dive gift shop is located just right behind Jack Shack here at Grand Turks. So just to give you a heads up, if you want to go diving, you must book it through Carnival Cruise Lines. They will give priority to the cruise ship first. If you just walked off the ship and went to their dive shop, more than likely they're not going to guarantee you a spot on the dive boat because priority does go to the cruise lines. Um, today we had two cruise ships here in port. We had the Carnival Vista and the Carnival Conquest. I'm going to give you one last look of the shoreline. We'll be doing sail away here shortly, guys. Me and Aaron are going to head up to the bar area, Lido, and I'm going to hit the water slides and pull. 
beautiful island, guys. And the water was very, very warm. Right over there is your jack shack. And then over to the right you have Margaritaville. Guys, so I have a question. Please comment below. Have you dived before here in Grand Turks? If you have, please comment below if you're a diver. Let us know. Let me know your favorite dive spot. What What is your favorite island to dive on? Um, I plan on diving on a lot more Caribbean islands. Just takes time and, of course, a little money to do it, but it will happen for me. So put in the comments below your favorite island, and we'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks. Okay, guys, so we just got back to our cabin from Grand Turk. What an amazing day. It was fun, exciting, also draining. I am tired. Aaron is wore out. He wants to take a little nap. So we're going to take a little nap, but we also wanted to show you, look, what our stateroom Stuart left us. A little frog. Well, I think it's a frog. It's a frog. And Aaron wanted me to mention that while I was on my diving excursion today, I had a little fatality on my leg. Coming off the dive boat, I got a little scrape and scruffed up. And that's a little scratch there. But it's alright. The salt water, the salt water will heal it. So on our agenda for tonight, guys, uh, we're going to go to dinner uh, probably around 5.45, quarter to 6. We're also going to go see the show Fleck, which I've been wanting to see from Playlist Productions. We're doing the red carpet event, I believe, at 7.45. And Flick, the show, starts at 8 p.m. in the Toulouse Theater. Decks 3, 4, and 5 forward. So that's our game plan. We're going to take a little nap right now because we are totally exhausted from today's activities. It's been a lot of fun here in Grand Turks. I will be back. I will do some more diving here. Um, it was an amazing, amazing day here in Grand Turks. So I'm going to give you one little closing shot of our view out of our balcony. The water was nice and warm. And if you could wake up to this every day, I don't know what I do. I have to win the lottery to make that happen. But anyway, guys, so we're going to take a little nap, and we'll get back with you guys later. We'll take you to dinner with us in the dining room tonight. Okay, so we just ordered some room service. We've never ordered room service before. It's our first time. We're just tired. We're beat from today's excursions, and uh, we just didn't feel like walking up to the dining room or out to the Lido. We're in the room now. We just want to chill on the balcony. So we ordered um, two ham and cheese, some Caesar salad, and I think I ordered two orders of chicken wings for me and Aaron. And then we'll just slowly eat that, take a little nap, and then we're going to go up to dinner. So I'll show you our room service experience. Um, I've heard nothing but good things through room service with Carnival Cruise Lines, so this is our first time trying it. And I'll show you the menu after this video clip. If you're in your stateroom and you're hungry and you want to know about room service, here's their menu and you can stop the video to check out the prices and the free items that Carnival Cruise Lines gives you on your Carnival Cruise. So, front of the menu, and you can stop the video and pause. Pretty decent selection. Some items are free and included on your excursion. Then there are some upcharges. The barbecue chicken wings are an upcharge. So just remember, choose the fun, choose the food. And if you're hungry, order from the menu so there's a look at your menu guys they also have a banana split on there I've never ordered a banana split um, on a carnival cruise I will be ordering one on this cruise for a late night snack and some fun since it is so hot here in the Caribbean and I will also show you that too guys 